Bitcoin, the world's first blockchain, was created as part of an attempt to create the world's first truly viable digital currency. Bitcoin was not the first attempt to create a digital currency, but it was the first which was able to successfully solve a long-standing problem, the double spend problem. The double spend problem is quite simple. Let's say Alice owes a debt of $5 to both Bob and Carol. Alice's total debt is $10, but let's assume she only has $5 currently. If Alice's transactions were recorded on two separate ledgers, it is possible that one ledger would show she paid $5 to Bob, while the second ledger may show she paid $5 to Carol. It would be impossible to tell who actually got paid. This is the double spend problem. Any financial ledger must prevent Alice from spending her $5 more than once. Digital assets are particularly vulnerable to the double spend problem, as we generally design them to be easy to copy and distribute. If you've got a great picture you took with your phone, it's easy to post one copy to Facebook, then another copy to Instagram. Then you might text a copy to your spouse and and email a copy to your parents. We live in a world where digital assets are easy to copy and distribute by design. A digital currency should not be easy to copy and distribute though. It was overcoming this technical challenge that led to so many failed attempts at digital currency before Bitcoin and the innovations that the solution to this problem has delivered are now being leveraged to track and manage many different types of assets and data that we never could easily manage before. It is this possibility of building tools and solutions that were never before thought possible that has so many people excited about the blockchain revolution.